What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today I would like to talk about some changes that I would like to see before the game is released on October the 25th. And let me just get this out of the way. I did have a very good time playing the both of the betas and the alpha. I am looking forward to playing the game. I do understand that some people did not like it and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, everybody has their different feelings and opinions towards games. But I did really enjoy it. And today I really don't want to talk about things that I enjoyed. I want to talk about things that I would like to see change before the game is released. Number one would be the lighting. I think lighting is something that really needs to be looked at. I think some areas are way too dark. You can walk in and not even see the person that is standing pretty much right in front of you. And they have stated that they will be working on lighting. I think some of the windows are too dark. Some of the uh, doors are too dark. Just some of the areas within the map in general, no matter if you're playing big modes, small modes, some places are just way too dark, and I think those need to be kind of lightened up a little bit to make it easier to identify enemies. Also, I kind of hope they fix the name tag situation. When you look at an enemy, the name tag is not centered straight over their head. It's kind of off to the side. I think that also kind of makes it harder to find people at times. I know a lot of people said they've had issues with seeing enemies. But with to me, with the darker areas on the map and kind of the off-centered of, of, of the name tag or the gamer tag over the person's head... It didn't make it difficult to see people in some areas. The next thing I think needs to be looked at, and of course I'm sure it will be, will be the spawn system. Spawn systems are always horrible in betas. Of course, what we're playing right now is months old. You know, This was from several months ago, so hopefully a lot of this stuff has been reworked now that they've kind of got a live service going and seen what kind of the spawn system is doing. I do like that one person can't go into an enemy's spawn and just flip you know, the spawn automatically. I'm not a huge fan of just spawn flipping back and forth just the entire game. I do feel like it needs to be kind of more of a team effort or a one or two person effort where they kill out the entire team a couple times before they can flip the spawn. But at the same time, I don't feel like the, uh, the team that's getting spawn trapped needs to be stuck in that spawn for the majority of the game. It gets a little ridiculous, you know, when you go into a, a game and you're spawn trapped and it's like 35 to 15. I and mean, I've kind of been on both ends of that kind of deal within team deathmatch where Either you're just destroying the team because you're trapping them or you're getting destroyed because you're getting spawn trapped. I think the spawn trap needs to be, or I think the spawn system needs to be flipped a little quicker, but not too fast in my opinion. Also, I think weapon balance is going to be something that's going to have to be looked at. Now, we only got a small sample size of weapons. We did not get to experience all the weapons, but it felt like the M4 and, of course, the MP5 were probably the most popular weapons. And every COD title has weapons that people just kind of gravitate towards. I can understand that. But I'm hoping that there's a lot of other weapons within the game that we'll, we'll want to use. I don't want it to be a game with a good amount of weapons, and it seems like people just use the same weapon over and over. I want a game where you can use the right weapon or use a weapon in the right situation and be successful with it no matter what that weapon is. So hopefully weapon balance will be worked out when the game is released. I think the pace of the game is going to be something that's it's going to kind of be kind of up in the air. Some people are going to like it, some people are not. I mean, I've played things like COD 4, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, really enjoyed those games. Now I've enjoyed some of the you know, newer titles like from Black Ops 2 to Black Ops 3. Black Ops 4 was not my favorite, but I have enjoyed all the Call of Duty titles over the last so many years, you know, that I've been playing them since COD 4, that you kind of have to adapt to the speed of the game. Some games you have to play at a faster pace, some games you have to play at a slower pace, some games you kind of have to change your play style in general from game to game. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing that we don't have to play, you know, kind of that same play style every year. But this game's pace is definitely slowed down. One reason I think is because of the map size uh, and all the different areas that you can get shot from. Even if you're playing 6v6, Team Deathmatch, or Domination, there's a lot of different areas that you can get shot from. And I think that's partially to do with it's not just those basic three-lane maps. It's more of a kind of complex, cluttered map. Uh, kind of like Call of Duty Ghosts, kind of like Modern Warfare 3, COD 4, some of those, Modern Warfare 2, some of those had some larger maps that had a lot of different areas that you could get shot from by an enemy. I think once people learn these maps, it will maybe speed up the game some. It might not. But at the same time, like I said, I just kind of go with it every year, kind of depending on what the maps are like and what the players play like. You just kind of have to play to that pace. And that may not be some people's cup of tea. I can understand that. Oh, when it came to game modes in general, I did enjoy all the modes. I do feel like there's going to be a lot of modes within the game, whether it be 6v6, 5v5 competitive, of course, 10v10. We've heard about 20v20. We get to play the, we got to play the 32 versus 32. We've heard rumors of a 50 v, 50v50 ground war. I'm just hoping they can get enough maps for all these, uh, you know, different game modes and people will enjoy these maps. That's my, one of my only concerns really is, one of my biggest concerns is, 
will the playlists stay, you know, kind of populated and will there be enough maps within some of these other modes that aren't just your basic modes like Dom, Team Deathmatch, things that have been around forever, uh, forever Search and Destroy. Will some of these other modes suffer because there's so many different playlists and so many different game modes that you can play and, you know, so many different map sizes. You know, will like the Ground War people get upset because there's only a couple maps within game because we don't know the total number of maps that are in game now for each game mode. Hopefully we'll hear that soon and I'm hoping it will be a good amount to keep everyone satisfied. Now while I'm talking about Ground War, I'm a big Battlefield fan, as you guys know, and I'm, I'm probably one of the only few people that are in, in the first-person shooter community that have played you know, all the Call of Duty titles, all the Battlefield titles, and really enjoy them both for kind of what they offer. I feel like Ground War is a style of, of Battlefield map size, you know, vehicles, that kind of thing. But besides that, it's more like Call of Duty. I wasn't really expecting it to be like Battlefield. While it does remind me in some ways of Battlefield, I like that it's not Battlefield. I like that it's still that chaos of Call of Duty. I do think there needs to be some changes to Ground War. I do know people don't like the kill streaks, don't like a lot of the stuff that goes on. But for me personally, I really enjoyed the size and the speed of it. It was just enjoyable. It kind of reminds me of playing something like Operation Metro, if you've ever played Battlefield, with those just chaotic close quarters maps. But anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts about the betas and kind of the alpha in general. And what are you looking forward to being changed before the game is released? And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.